Hi, today we're giving an introduction to CCTV systems. This is intended for people who have no idea about CCTV. The information I will present here today is basic for anyone in the industry, but it's a great resource for those seeking to get an overview of CCTV systems. If you are a homeowner or a small business owner looking to install a CCTV system, this video could be the right resource for you. I will try to answer the following four questions. What is CCTV? Why do you need it? How does it work? And what are your different options? CCTV stands for Closed Circuit Television, also known as Video Surveillance. It is a set of cameras that transmit the footage only to a private and authorized monitoring stations. Usually in a CCTV system, you will also have video recording to store the footage for future reference. And this is it in short. If you ask yourself, why do I need a CCTV system? You will find out that investing in a CCTV system could come to more benefits than you would expect. Here are some of the benefits of a CCTV system. First, it deters criminal activity. Monitor your property and the activity around your property. Collect evidence in case of crimes, and that's where the recording can come in use. Uh, analyze data for better decision making, and this is very useful in case of um, shopping malls or sports arenas or festivals where you can analyze the data later and take better decisions. Um, monitor uh, critical areas, uh, prevent shoplifting, keep an eye on unwanted visitors around your property, giving a feel of safety to whoever is in the property or in the business. Moreover, your insurance rate might improve, giving you a physical return on your investment in a CCTV system. So let's have a look how does a CCTV system work. With the advancement in technology and the introduction of Ethernet and IP networks, also the introduction of machine learning and artificial intelligence, CCTV improved a lot. However, the basic structure and operation of a system remains somehow constant. As you can see, we have the cameras that are connected through a network to the storage and the monitoring stations. And monitoring could be local or could be remote. The network could be a private network or could be also shared with um, other applications like uh, if it's an IP, you could run your system on the data network as well. However, the access to the cameras and the footage should be always controlled. Let's talk about the options that you have. You have two main options to start with. First, if you go analog or you go IP. Now, in an analog system, the video is transmitted over coaxial cable as an analog signal. It goes to a digital video recorder where it is transformed into a digital form and stored on hard disks and the monitors are usually directly connected to the DVRs. You can also, in an analog system, access the footage remotely. In an IP system, the cameras are IP, so they can be connected through an existing IT infrastructure. You can have also a dedicated network if you want additional security for your system, so you can have your CCTV network separated, but it will be all running on Ethernet cables. Uh, and the storage could be placed anywhere on the network and we call it network video recorders and monitors can as well be connected anywhere on the network and this gives a lot of flexibility in network design and implementation however it could be more expensive when you go to IP but in many cases the benefits overcome the additional cost other options are in the type of cameras that are used so we have the dome camera that looks like a dome shaped and the camera is inside. In some cases, this conceals the direction where the camera is pointed. You have bullet cameras where it's obvious they are looking at a certain point in a certain angle. PTZ or pan tilt and zoom cameras. Uh, these cameras can have a moving uh, head so they can change the angle of view and they can zoom in and out into a particular location. And we have the 360 view camera that can take 
a full around view of your room or location and in this camera you can virtually divide it into multiple cameras so if you have this in one location you can view it in your screen as multiple cameras or you can see it as one 360 view of the location other options in the selecting cameras could be in the connectivity wired and wireless uh, light sensitivity and for day and night viewing you have infrared cameras and thermal cameras and we have also the image quality another variant of the cameras now keep in mind that all these uh, options are available for analog and for ip systems today cctv systems are available as pre-configured kits that are easy to put together However, a professional system needs to be designed uh, in a professional way with a professional designer with professional system components to make sure it's cyberly secure and it covers uh, the needs and the requirements of the client. That's it. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, let me know your feedback. And if you have any questions, I will be more happy to answer.